What's up, gentlemen? So I am assuming that by now you know that no man should ever wear mandals. Unless you never want to get action. And if your feet are funky, flip-flops are out. If you want to look like a bad boy, boat shoes are out. And if you want to look like a man's man, then Tom's are terrible. But you already knew that, right? If you did, drop me one of these to let me know, yo, Alpha, I'm not a style noob. I already knew that. If you're not giving me one of these, I'm assuming you love Tom's. Whatever, gentlemen, today, we're taking it next level in terms of your style knowledge. I'm going over seven additional shoes a man should never wear. Not sometimes, not occasionally, never wear. Gentlemen, it all starts with number one. Obnoxiously loud shoes. Gentlemen, your shoes should not be the star of the show, right? They should be a supporting character. Shoes shouldn't be all like, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, aren't I awesome? Look, check me out. I am great. Instead, your shoes should be more like, sup? Shoes are just one piece of the style equation, but oftentimes nowadays I see a lot of these shoes that are so outrageous, so flamboyant, so over the top, guys, it's totally distracting from the rest of your look. The other issue with this is that every time you wear a loud, obnoxious pair of shoes, everybody notices. There's Brian with those ugly ass shoes again. Number two. One of my biggest style pet peeves is when I see a dude rocking a perfectly amazing navy suit, navy pants, and he's paired it with black shoes. In my opinion, guys, Nothing takes navy to the next level like brown or cognac. Let me show you. It's not that black doesn't match with navy. It's not that black doesn't look okay. It's that I feel like it's a little bit safe. It's a little bit boring. Your Uncle Barry, he's wearing black with navy, but you are wearing cognac. Or you could possibly even go brown. Gentlemen, any form of brown, chestnut, tan, in my opinion, is a lot more rich, it's a lot more fun, and it's definitely more stylish than Barry Black. The third shoe a man should never wear is actually a boot. Any boot that has an overly dramatic toe box. This could be either super pointy or super square. As most of you know by now, boots are the most badass footwear option out there, in my opinion. But you need to make sure that the boots that you're wearing have a nice, natural toe box, all right? This is what you should be looking for. Nothing too pointy, nothing too square. Here's another perfect toe. It's not too pointy, not too square. It's all about the silhouette of a boot. Guys, if you're looking for a super badass pair of boots, guys, you have got to check out today's video sponsor, Thursday Boots. When it comes to boots, it doesn't get any better in terms of quality, in terms of comfort, construction, and price than Thursday. The thing that you're going to notice about them when you slip them on, they are crazy comfortable. Here are a few pairs I recently got that kick a lot of ass. These are the Ginger Suede Scouts by Thursday Boots. These chuckas could quite possibly be the most insanely badass pair of boots I've ever seen. For you guys out there that love a good Chelsea boot like I do, you are gonna freak out over the shadow gray Cavalier boots. These bad boys are sick. Here's another one of Thursday's incredible Chelsea's. This is the Duke. It's a little more rugged, a little less like refined as the other one that I showed you guys. What I love so much about this Chelsea boot, not only is the color perfect for fall and winter and really adds a level of texture and richness to any outfit, I love the silhouette. Once again, it's about a super clean, perfect toe box. Not too pointy, not too square just right. The reason why Thursday can offer these boots at the price that they do, guys, is because they've cut out the middleman. They are selling direct to you, and so they can offer a higher quality product for a better price. If you haven't been to Thursday's website in a while to see the new styles and boots that they offer, now is the time, because with fall coming up, guys, they're going to start to like sell out pretty quick, and some of the new suede and leathers and shapes, guys, you are going to freak out over. So guys, hit that link. Go check out Thursday's. They are amazing. It's not amazing is number four which is dirty white sneaks. So everybody by now knows that the simple white sneaker is absolutely one of the most versatile, most stylish, most functional sneakers that a dude can own. If they're all dingy and dirty and have like grass stains and dog poop up on the sole, guys, you are totally missing out on a style opportunity. It's critical that you keep those white sneakers clean. Gentlemen, little Alpha M Pro hack is if you are rocking white sneakers, invest in some magic erasers. These things are incredible for keeping your white sneakers. Snakes looking sharp. 
And for you guys out there that are looking for a perfect white, simple, casual sneaker, guys, it doesn't get any better than nothing news. I've talked about this brand and these sneakers before. It's a company that I absolutely love. The whole mission behind Nothing New is to produce the highest quality, sustainable sneaker using cutting edge upcycled material. I'm talking these bad boys, the uppers and the laces, were actually made from 5.6 recycled water bottles. It doesn't get any cooler, more comfortable. The fact that they are recyclable guys is incredible the fifth shoe a man should never wear is shoes that jingle takeaway is that if you are shopping for a pair of shoes and it does have any type of metal detailing or some type of like bit I want you to walk on the hardest surface in the room the shoes on and then head to the tile and start walking. I want you to bounce a little bit. Can you hear the jingle jangle? If you can hear the jingle jangle, do not buy those shoes. The sixth shoe you should never wear is what I'm gonna call a style mismatch. There's nothing worse than when a dude is dressed like super casual, but he's got like super dressy shoes on. On the flip side, a guy that's dressed up and he's wearing shoes that are way too casual for the outfit. A perfect example of this is driving mocks, right? I see a lot of dudes wearing like khakis or slacks and driving mocks. Driving mocks are a very casual shoe that you can wear with jeans or possibly shorts, but definitely not dress clothes. The other biggest offender in this department are dudes who try to dress up jeans. A lot of times they'll be wearing jeans, they'll be wearing Wear maybe a shirt, possibly a sport coat, and they'll wear some like super ass shiny dress shoe. In order for you to knock it out of the style park, you gotta make sure that the dressiness level of the outfit and the shoes that you're wearing match and coordinate. And last, but certainly not least, the seventh shoe you should never wear is a shoe that you cannot afford. One of the downsides to social media is that it kind of makes us feel like we need things. We need stuff, right? At least it does for me. And you see all these people online posting things about all of their expensive shoes and things of that nature. And I don't want you to think that you need that in order to look good. Guys, it's about simple classic styles. Do not ever buy something that's going to stretch your budget to the point of putting you in debt or getting you in financial trouble. You gotta prioritize your spending. And a lot of times this urge or this need to immediately go out and buy the latest and greatest and super expensive sneakers is not something that Personally, I think you should do. Be smart. This doesn't mean you can't be stylish. It doesn't mean you can't be timeless. There are a lot of great options out there that are super affordable that still look amazing.